Okay, again, I'm Stephen Cook. We're continuing our series on uh, hydraulics uh, for the sawmill. And of course, as I mentioned before, they, it, it kind of spans across anything that you would put hydraulics on. And I talked about the basics of it. I uh, want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go visit us uh, on our website at hooksaw.com. And there'll be other information there, whether you're, you've got our sawmill or our blades or whatever. There's a lot of information we've been accumulating for years uh, to, to help you. So uh, I think our videos will be helpful to you, whether you're beginning or you've been doing it a while. If you have a problem, uh, what we like to do is try to help people solve problems. We believe that's how we add value in this world. So that's what we want to try to do. So continuing in this, I'm going to specifically talk about uh, the manual uh, valves, hydraulic valves that we use. And I'm not getting real deep into the different types of spools and all. I'll mention a couple of things. But just the, the uh, overall understanding of how it works. I mentioned the pumps and things already in another video. To get power down to the uh, uh, valves over here, we have an energy chain. And the main hydraulic pressure line that's here we, we bring over and we run down this energy chain, nice clean look that the energy chain gives us. And then we go over to, uh, with one main hydraulic, you've, got, you've always got one main pressure line coming in and a return line coming out. And then we'll feed this bank. Concerning how we get the power or the pressure here, we use an energy chain and that is usually the most preferred uh, way of doing that nowadays is just a nice clean look. But we have options that we can do some other things. Sometimes people are in a building and want to do it a little differently or want to bring their logs in a different way. And so uh, we try to be helpful. We can't do everything, uh, you know, change everything, but we can try to tailor fit things uh, for you. So if you have a special need concerning hydraulics or even something added, like I had mentioned the belt on this mill. Once you have the hydraulics here, you can do a few other things as well. When I come here, I want to talk about these valves particularly here. Uh, we set them up. You have a joystick valve and then just some uh, regular up and down valves. The pressure is coming into one side. Uh, we have a pressure relief valve up on the main system here. But you may find in certain uh, op operations and applications, uh, we build grapples for lifting logs and things. We need, uh, uh, we can put a pressure relief valve right here if we were need to. Or if you have a, a bank somewhere else, it may have its own pressure relief valve built right in here. Uh, hydraulics have been around for many, many, many years and they have figured out a little bit of a way to do everything. And so there's a lot of features that can be added in on these things. So what we do is we kind of start from the right with just a manual valve. This valve lifts the log lift up if I lift and it brings it down when I pull it down. Just real simple and that's what we like. We like to keep simple. Uh, we want to have things that are as, as basic so that uh, everybody can understand it as much as possible and also to, to try to keep our costs down. Uh, to try to pr uh, provide a very quality product, quality sawmills. Uh, and, and keep the price at reasonable prices. And I think that's what I want and I think that's what uh, our customers like. Uh, so, so these manual valves, we use them here instead of all electric in different places. The log lift, the next is our squaring arm. Again, this just lifts a cylinder or moves a cylinder and it raises arms up in the bed or it brings them back down. Then we come to our log turner. And just so, just so it's easy to use, this, this joystick is forward, backwards, down and up. So I'm using this function and sometimes I can rotate it or move it around. And that will allow me to bring the, the uh, log turner up and then rotate that chain all at the same time. And you're doing this thing, you don't even hardly have to think about it. Your mind just picks it up and you can put a little pressure against that uh, log and roll that chain up all at the same time. And it's just a, a nice function that the joystick gives you. And it's hard to do that if you were just doing this with, with two valves. And so that simplifies that. Here we then have a cylinder with our tapers that lifts up the front end of the log or the back end of the log, same thing. Up is up and down is down. Just works good with, with how you think. And then on the last one, on our standard type meals, uh, we have another joystick that brings our dogs up and brings them across or out or down. And all of those, those have hydraulic motors so they come up and down in unison. 
uh, so you know that when you're, uh, sometimes you run them up and down a couple of times to make sure they are in unison, they go all the way down and up at the beginning of the day. And then you know when you saw <clears throat> that your dogs or your dog clamps are at a certain height and as long as you're above that you, you, you won't hit one, one won't be above the other. These are set up to work in the bed, they work our bed functions and uh, as I mentioned there are different valves that you can get. Uh, these are just some basic valves, <clears throat> often closed center. That means when you stop them, they stay in place. You can get detent valves, and sometimes we do that for different people who want different things done, where you would actually pull this and, and it would lock in, and it would continue to run until you knocked it out or until a certain pressure comes on it and it pops out. That's used a lot of times on front end loaders, skid steers. You can press a lever uh, with your foot or, or with, a, with a joystick, and it'll, you'll feel it click in and the bucket will go down and you can drag or do things like that. So sometimes we have used some things similar to that to, to lock in uh, to move the head forward and then release. That's kind of an overview <clears throat> of the basic valves here that run the bed of our mill and there are manual valves. And so in the next series uh, we'll talk about these uh, valves. I'll take the, the, the coil off and talk a little bit about the electric valve.